Hey there, Meredith here from artsandclassy.com. Uh, I'm excited to be sharing this project with you today because um, I have been having so much fun playing in my new house, <laughs> decorating it. So if you haven't seen my house tour, um, I'm gonna, I guess I'll post a link up here and I'll also post a link below so you can see the full tour of when we first moved in. Um, I'll also post a link to a recent tour of my home during the holidays that Raleigh Durham girl did. Um, so shout out to Roxy, she's awesome. But then also wanted to make sure that you all knew that like I adore Modern Farmhouse. Modern Farmhouse is something that I'm really embracing in my new home. Um, so I'm excited to share this latest project. I sourced all the materials from a local vendor called Hammer and Stain in Clayton um, but I want to make sure that if you like this project you can make one yourself so you'll notice that I also am including links to um, all this project supplies below I'm also linking them in the um, blog post for this project so um, if you feel inspired please make it it's super easy uh, it doesn't take that much time that's what I really loved about this project and I feel like DIY sometimes scares people because they don't want to have to spend a lot of money or spend a lot of time sourcing the information, sourcing the materials to be able to do it. So hopefully this, this tutorial today really does inspire you to take action. And if you do take a picture of what you create, please tag me on Instagram at arts and classy. I would love to see what you're up to. If you really are resonating with the content that I'm sharing, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, that bell notification. So you'll know when future projects, future videos come up as well as making sure to hit that thumbs up button. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this project. All right, let's get to the video. I'm starting by laying out all of my supplies. You can see I actually purchased this from a local spot where they sold this as a kit. Um, but as a reminder, I will link all of the supplies that I used in the description. You can buy them and source them online and in stores. But yeah, just making sure I have everything readily available so I can get started. Starting with this blue color, going over the craft hoop um, all the way around. I started with a sponge and then I actually ended up transferring over to a brush later on. And then I started with this white stain and now I thought this was going to be a little more opaque than it ended up being, so I ended up switching to a white acrylic paint. And this is the hello sign. I decided to paint it the same color as the craft hoop because I felt like when it was all assembled, it was going to really give it a cohesive, elegant look. But using my artist brush to make sure I'm getting all the little details on this wood uh, hello cutout was really, um, it took a lot of time. was so um, translucent I, like I said earlier this is the step where I'm actually just painting the whole wood round with a white acrylic paint that I had on hand um, so I definitely will link that one as well uh, now I'm getting into painting my little flowers one at a time I wanted to give them each their own personality they're obviously all very different um, but really wanted to give a lot of uh, pops of color with the uh, acrylic paint choices that I had made um, but really you can you know if you decide to make this yourself you really can pick whatever color scheme you'd like there's no right or wrong way to do it um, I think it would even look cool as well if you wanted to just leave them natural because these sola flowers are just so cute and I love the natural look as well I really wanted to give this a kind of a rustic palette finish so I took a wood stain um, and dry brushed it onto the palette uh, wood round over the white to give it more of an aged finish as you can see I'm kind of giving uh, the wood craft hoop a little bit of glue to a mount onto and I'm giving it some time to dry which you know separating out and actually like going back to do different parts of the flowers that I was painting just because they were so detailed um, it really made the time go by a lot faster when I was waiting for glue to dry <music> the wood round had dried I added some E6000 to the back of my hello sign and secured it to the spot that I wanted. While the hello part was drying I added my greenery with my E6000 glue. As you can see I'm kind of just casually uh, adhering it to the greenery before I start applying my flowers and I didn't really know exactly how I wanted to configure the flowers when I first started this project. I kind of had to 
place them and then kind of move them um, and kind of look at them from different angles. So as you can see, my hands in there just kind of figuring out and kind of making sure that where I'm putting them, it's actually going to secure and stay. Um, but I really am happy with how it turned out. I hope you are as well. The next thing to do was to add ribbon to the back to hang it on my wall in my dining room. And I'm very happy with how it turned out. If you liked this video, hit the notification bell. Make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and make sure you are subscribed to the channel if you want to see more content like this. And I look forward to seeing you all in the next video.